You know Paul Walker as the man with the need for speed in the Fast and Furious franchise, but now he's getting even grittier and going undercover once again for his new film, Brick Mansion. Paul stars as an undercover cop who infiltrates a dangerous gang in the remake. What did you like about this film and what made you sign on? I watched the original B-13 and it's got David Bell running around doing all this crazy stuff on rooftops and flips and breaking through windows and I was just like, wow, this guy is awesome. And Paul's getting ready for another awesome joyride with his Fast and Furious co-stars. I mean, uh, there's what, Fast and Furious 7 now coming out? Oh my gosh, yeah. Is there going to be like a Fast and Furious 25? I don't know. We, we're going? We, we joke about it. That's a running joke. It's going to be Fast and Furious 66 and we're going to be in wheelchairs. <laughs> yeah. Ben and I will be racing, you know, to beat the train again and we're both going to get cleaned up on the tracks. It's hard to believe Paul turns 40 in September, and it's even harder to believe that he's the father of a teenager. Does she watch out for dad? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah? Does she have a say in who's in dad's life? No, not yet. We haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> when we cross that road, we cross that road right now, there's really only time for her. She's honestly, she's the best partner I've ever had. She lives with me full time now, and uh, so we're in all this together. Um, when it comes time to, you know, considering a project, whether I'm going to do it or not, we sit down, we powwow, we discuss it. Yeah. Um, you know, because she's got to be on board. But would she approve of Paul taking on the role of Christian Grey? His name has come up more than once from fans of the steamy novel. It'd be really important to have incredible chemistry with whoever the girl was, and it couldn't okay. be something he'd have to force. Okay. So I think that people need to spend a lot of time together. Okay. And I think uh, intimate time would probably be... Oh. Probably help, you know? <laughs> So who would be maybe your ideal Anastasia Steele if you were Christian Grey? Uh, I can't. I could just set myself up, didn't I? <laughs> I'm not answering that one. <laughs> no? No, uh, no.